In the last episode, we talked about how to create custom wall types. Today is episode 14, and we are going to talk about how to place walls correctly in your project. There are two types of walls in Revit, architectural wall and structural wall. When you create an architectural wall, its structural parameter is switched off and its structural usage is set as non-bearing. When you create a structural wall, its structural parameter is by default switched on and its structural usage is bearing. But you can come back to an architectural wall and make it a structural wall by switching this parameter on. Let's create an architectural wall. There are two ways to set height. Either you can make a wall unconnected. Let's say the height of this wall is 4 meters. Or you can constrain the height of a wall with a level. Let's say in this case level 1. Let's cut a section through these two walls and have a look. Both of these walls have the same height currently. But let's say I change the level height to 4500 millimeters. The wall that we had constrained with level 1 has increased, whereas the wall that was unconnected is still unconnected and it remains at 4 meters. Let's go back to wall. We are setting the height of the wall. You also have an option of creating either a height or depth. If you would like to go above the level, you choose height. If you would like to go below the level, you choose depth. Let's create a wall with a height of 4,500. And let's create another wall with a depth of 4,500. Let's cut a section. You can see here that one wall has gone above the level zero and another with depths of 4,500 has gone below the level zero. Let's create a grid line on our project. And now let's go to wall and create a wall on this grid line. Currently, the location line of this wall is set to wall center line. So when I draw my wall, my cursor is set to the center of the wall. If I change my location line to core center line, this has changed. If I go to the type properties of my wall and have a look, I can see that there is one layer within the core boundary. So when I select core center line, it is the center of this particular layer. Whereas when I choose wall center line, it is the center of the wall, which is somewhere around here between the row three and row four. The same principle applies when I choose my location line as finish face exterior and core face exterior. Sometimes when you have set your location line to a specific location, let's say in this case finish face exterior, when you're drawing your wall from left to right, your wall is right now below the grid line. With the same location line, when I start my wall from right to left, it goes above the grid line. If you would like to flip the orientation of your wall from this location line, you can either use this flip controls or press spacebar. If you change your location line to finish face interior after you create the wall, it will try to flip from that location line now. So you can change the location line of a wall anytime you want. Let's try to remove these walls and create a new wall. Let's say I'm creating a wall which is starting at level 0 and ending at level 1. Let's cut a section through this and have a look. Let's say that now I want to reduce the wall height so that it remains exactly 500 millimeters below level 1. How can I do this? When I select this wall, I have an option of setting up top offset. Let's set it to minus 500. This is exactly 500 millimeters below the level. Let's say I change the level elevation to 4000 now. The wall height is adjusted so that it remains 500 millimeter less than the level. You can do the same thing for the base offset as well. 
Let's say I'm changing the base offset as plus 500. Let's go back to our floor plan view. When you're creating walls in your project, you can use the help of these temporary dimensions. Or you can always come back to your wall and make changes to these values. Or you can use the help of permanent dimensions and then make changes to the wall. You can take help of your modify tools to either trim or extend your walls. In the next episode, we are going to explore the trim and extend modify tools. So subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next episode.